This is Zululand. And once again, Pathé Pictorial spreads at your feet a magic carpet that whisks your way to a remote and exciting corner of this colorful world. You are approaching, to start the safari, the Umfalosi Game Reserve. No motor transport is allowed here where the white rhino is the lord of the land. You are off in search of this rare, square-lipped survivor of a lost era, not to shoot him, the guns are for safety only, but to see him in his natural surroundings, to share his wilderness trail. When white farmers first moved into Zululand, there was great slaughter of wild animals, slaughter which has now been stopped. You are seeing splendid animals who have never in their existence heard the chugging of a motor car, unlike the so-called wildlife in a string of African parks. It's six days in the bush, foreshortened by this magic carpet, which is carrying you further and even further from civilization at the rate of 12 miles trek a day. You can see buffalo, even lion, from the comfort of your motor car in game reserves reaching from Kenya to Uganda but seldom before has a color camera taken you so far from even the roughest of oxen tracks. This is Africa, untamed. This is the wilderness where man himself is the rarest of animals. Quiet. Quiet. You're in the land of the white rhino. They are short-sighted creatures, these white rhinos, relying on sound and smell to warn them when danger is threatening. And you, with nothing but a camera to shoot with, are the rhino's friend. With an experienced ranger like Ian Player here in charge, you can get up close to these big, powerful beasts. Not very many human beings have shared this experience. Not many may ever share it, for white rhinos look like dying out. That rhino spike could rip thick metal and only a ranger of fame could ever give you such close contact with wild reality before taking you on to camp out with the law of the jungle is the only law that applies. Peaceful. So deceptively peaceful it all looks. peaceful, and here there is a certain peace. From the land of the white rhino, we have moved step by step across the wilderness to the land of the red blanket people. That's what this tribe is called. Women in particular smoke those long stemmed pipes. Here's a happy-go-lucky village community a tribe that has been bypassed by any of the fierce changes of modern life. Bathing the baby, that's another habit they developed, along with their pipe smoking, before ever they made contact with Western man, here on Africa's wild coast, as this part of Zululand is called. They'll touch palms in their own ceremonial way of greeting when this magic carpet of ours takes you into their quaint settlement. They'll give you their mealies to eat, the staple food here, made by grinding our old, familiar corn on the cob. Was it we Westerners who taught Africans the great British art of thatching, or vice versa? They say in Britain that thatchers as a race are dying out. Here are some thatchers who have kept their ancient skill. School. Now this is something that really is relatively new in their leisurely lives.
that latecomer can't say the bus was full or the alarm clock stopped. Someone else who knows where pencil should be parked. For generations, the red blanket people went in for beautiful beadwork. Art, disciplined and delicate. So tell me, who taught who? What? It's bigger than Holland and Belgium put together, this land of the Zulus, both from its wildest depths and from its settlements close to the civilized high roads. You'll find pictures to bring home, pictures that will dance in your mind. <laughs> dancing their step dance, and quite clearly an elderly relative of the dances we've learned to enjoy in the Western world. And these Zulus are only too happy when Western visitors join in. Because look, that's a face that's known here in Britain. A bloke called Butlin, isn't it? Putting on his leopard skin and joining in. for one wild moment before our magic carpet settles you back in your cinema seat once more. Surrender yourself to the magical drumbeat of Zululand. Zululand. 